Welcome to Chapter 1 of Digital Radiography Provided by Medical Professionals. Upon completing this module, you will be able to identify components of various digital imaging systems, compare digital systems, discuss the imaging receptors that are used in digital imaging, discuss the image acquisition process for computed radiography, or CR, and digital radiography, or DR, discuss the construction and characteristics of the plate, explain differences in direct and indirect capture DR systems, Explain the role of charge coupled devices in digital imaging systems. Discuss factors affecting spatial resolution in digital imaging. Explain the process of image extraction and processing for computed radiography and digital radiography systems. And lastly, Describe factors that affect digital image quality. Now let's take a look at digital imaging characteristics. This section explains the importance of spatial resolution, contrast resolution, modulation transfer function, and signal to noise ratio in obtaining good image quality. All digital images, regardless of which technology is used, are composed of a matrix or a combination of rows and columns of small squares called picture elements or pixels. Each pixel is recorded as a single numerical value which is represented as a single brightness level on the monitor. The location of the pixel within the matrix corresponds to an area within the patient or a volume of tissue. The dimensions of the image matrix are called the field of view or FOV. For a given anatomical area or field of view, the matrix size of 1024 by 1024 has 1,048,517 pixels. The field of view has 2048 by 2048 has 4,194,304 pixels. Image quality is improved with a larger matrix size and smaller pixels. However, computer processing time, network transmission time, and storage space for the image increases as the matrix size increases. For diagnostic radiography, the field of view or matrix size is determined by the size of the detector. However, in other modalities such as CT or MRI, the technologists can select the field of view for the examination. The spatial resolution in digital imaging systems depends on the matrix size, the pixel size, and the grayscale bit depth. A matrix is an arrangement of numerical values in a square of rows and columns. 
each square is a pixel or picture element, which is the smallest element in a digital image. Each pixel in a digital image represents a discrete numerical value that corresponds to a brightness level or shade of gray. Each pixel can be identified by its column and row, otherwise known as its address or location. Because a larger matrix contains smaller pixels, the larger the matrix, the better the spatial resolution of the image. An image with a greater number of pixels per unit area would have greater pixel density. In addition to the size of the pixel, spacing or the distance measured from the center of a pixel to an adjacent pixel, this determines the pixel pitch. Increasing pixel density and decreasing pixel pitch increases spatial resolution. Decreasing pixel density and increasing pixel pitch decreases spatial resolution. Thin film transistors are elements in the panel of pixels or detector elements. Pixel size in digital radiography is determined by the size of the detector element and affects pixel pitch and spatial resolution. Detector elements are positioned in a matrix that allows the charge pattern to read out on a pixel by pixel basis. Each detector element includes a sensing area, the capacitor, and the thin film transistor. Detector elements are not sensitive to charge, take up a certain amount of space. The fill factor refers to the sensing area compared to the non-sensing area, as stated by Carlton and Adler. It is the percentage of the pixel or detector element face that is sensitive to x-rays, according to Bouchong. For example, if a detector has a fill factor of 80%, then the other 20% would be covered by the electronics. The fill factor has a direct relationship with both the spatial resolution and the contrast resolution. Detectors with a higher fill factor will provide higher spatial resolution and contrast resolution, according to Carlton and Adler. Sampling frequency is the number of pixels sampled per millimeter. It controls spatial resolution in computed radiography. More pixels sampled means increased spatial resolution. However, sample frequency can change from vendor to vendor. It varies from 5 pixels per millimeter to 20 pixels per millimeter. The choice of sample frequency is based on the plate size, and you may be able to select that from the main menu. Spatial resolution depends on the imaging plate size as well. CR readers scan at a relatively 
constant frequency of approximately 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. Using the smallest IP possible results in the highest sampling frequency and thus in higher spatial resolution. The Nyquist theorem applies to computed radiography imaging. The Nyquist frequency determines the maximum spatial resolution for a given sampling frequency. The Nyquist theorem states that if spatial resolution, or X, is desired, the sample frequency must be two times X, or spatial resolution. Contrast resolution is the ability of the digital system to display various shades of gray and the ability to distinguish between small objects. Increased contrast resolution means that there are more shades of gray within the image, and therefore, the visibility of small anatomical structures is increased, which results in increased spatial resolution. Each pixel has a bit depth or number of bits that determine the number of shades of gray each pixel is capable of recording. Pixel bit depth determines the accuracy of the digitized analog signal and the pixel brightness or gray level. Bit depth is determined by the analog to digital converter. Higher bit depth allows for a greater number of shades of gray to be displayed on the monitor and has better contrast resolution. Contrast to noise ratio or CNR is a method of describing the contrast resolution compared with the amount of noise in the image. Digital images with a higher contrast to noise ratio will increase the visibility of anatomical tissues. Noise, especially quantum noise, limits our ability to see an object's edge and then limits the spatial resolution. A high signal to noise ratio indicates a highly efficient system that displays little noise and has higher spatial resolution. The theorem states that the sum of the components in a recording system cannot be greater than the system as a whole. This means that when any part of the imaging system is compromised, the overall quality of the system is affected, according to Carter and Veal. Modular transfer function or MTF is expressed as a ratio 
and quantifies the contribution of each system component to the overall efficiency of the entire system. Modulation transfer function equals the recorded detail or resolution over the available detail or resolution. A modulation transfer function of 1 or 100% would mean a perfect system. The last topic covered in this module is system efficiency, in which we show how detective quantum efficiency is measured and how it affects the obtained image and the patient dose. Detective quantum efficiency or DQE, is a measure of the receptor's ability to create an output signal that accurately represents the input signal or X-ray beam. The image receptor must absorb, convert, and emit efficiently. When placed on a graph of IR materials, you can compare these receptors based on their ability to produce images that exhibit given levels of spatial frequency. High spatial frequency represents a larger number of viewable objects in an image. The higher the DQE indicates a receptor is more efficient in converting the input signal and therefore allows for lower exposure. The goal is to choose an imaging receptor with highest absorption efficiency, greatest conversion efficiency, and the highest DQE to achieve the lowest patient dose. Thank you for choosing medical professionals as your continuing education provider. We hope you found this course interesting and valuable. Thanks for watching. To purchase the full course and earn your CE credits, click on the link in the description or head on over to our website at www.medical-professionals.com. And while you're there, check out our All Access Pass, where you can get unlimited CE credits for your state and ARRT renewal for just $49.99. We also offer a host of free resources to make it easier than ever for radiologic technologists like you to achieve excellence. Check out our free radiology CE webinars, clinical reference guides, and free CE courses on our website today. Be more than just certified. Choose medical professionals.